hello aquarius welcome to my channel thank you for being here i'm so pleased you're here let's get a reading done for you to see what is coming up and also the messages that you need to hear in case you're new here my name is jade i'm an aquarius and i've created this channel to connect with more of you out there i do aquarius readings a few times a week and i also do what's the tea readings as well which are very entertaining okay aquarius let's get started with today's reading Starting off with the messages that you need to hear, we'll be using the Mystical Martian Oracles. I love using this deck. I love the pictures in here and the meanings are very cool. You'll see just in a moment. So Aquarius, I do believe you've been brought here for a reason. So there will be some messages here for you. However, this is still a general reading. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. If you are in need of a personal reading, if you want clarity on something or if you just just are curious and you want to see what's coming up for you then check out my website i do do personal readings aquarius if you know what you're looking for all my readings can be found on my website which is linked in the description of the video but if you're still a little unsure and you just have some questions or you want to tailor made reading then just drop me an email i'll be more than happy to help let me know what the weather's been like where you are. It's quite sunny here in the UK, surprisingly. Still a little bit uh, windy, but it's not too bad, though. You can tell it's heating up. Can't wait for summertime. Oh, there we go. First card out. Let's see if we get any more. This one. Oh, you've got the Nephilim. Hmm. With the Andromedans, got quite a few here. Which ones have we got? Oh, the Philosopher's Stone and we have Water Element. Fantastic. Okay, Aquarius, let's dive in here and just see what we've got for you. Okay, so with the first card, we have the Nephilim, as I said before. And this card is all about new ideas, new perspectives, being able to see things from different angles. I do see you processing something here, really thinking about what's been going on, trying to get some answers. And I see you finding some hope um, amongst all of the madness is what I'm hearing here. So you, you are going to be going through a period of finding that inspiration again and um, finding some sense of achievement and some newfound hope that the situation will get better or you do have what it takes to improve it. You may find that um, you will be able to control the situation more better than what you have been doing and i'm also seeing here you will be able to tap into your brute strength because you are a very strong person aquarius there may also be some temptations coming your way though and this is just a heads up for that energy incoming so remember to remain strong and um, try to see things from different perspectives i think that will really help you now we have the Andromedans. Now this card is all about manifestation. You do have the power of manifestation at the moment. This card tells me that you are a free thinker. You have a mind and you can um, use this in many wonderful ways i see that you are a daydreamer some of you some of you are just able to think up some wild uh, crazy ideas here and just run with it which is fantastic i love that um this also tells me that you are quite a vibrant person you are someone who isn't afraid to stand out and you actually like to explore your eccentric side there is a sense of excitement about this card as well and creativity you may be creating something new perhaps uh, going on a more creative journey or path and um and maybe a project some of you will be getting your teeth stuck into a project something that will allow you to express um, a more truer version of yourself perhaps you're redecorating is what i'm hearing here but whatever it is go with this new idea it will make you feel more free and happy 
and uh, that card also reminds you that you have free will to do as you please and on a side note Aquarius some of you have got some potential that you aren't really tapping into that's definitely a big message here considering we've got the Andromedans and the alchemy the philosopher's stone card there is a sense of destiny or magic in the air here and this card basically reminds me of the magician in the traditional tarot. Um, it tells me that you have the power to create or do whatever you choose. You're going to find the resources to do this but some of you aren't really tapping into your full potential. This card is about change and destiny, new beginnings. So expect new beginnings coming up for you, new opportunities and um, definitely a change of path for some of you. You will be changing your mind about something, perhaps starting a new journey, one that's more suited to you. This card can also represent cooking. Perhaps you are learning how to cook um, uh, or trying to uh, experiment more in the kitchen. That's another message of this card. Definitely get cooking. I think there is some therapeutic uh, energies around that for some of you. You find therapy when you're in the kitchen. I do too, but I prefer to taste the food. <laughs> This card also represents a transformation. Some of you are going to be um, saying goodbye to a past version of yourself but stepping into a new energy so you are able to grow and change and move more towards the direction that you feel called to do. Next up we have the water element and as we know Aquarius is the water bearer. This card does represent um, healing so if you have been going through anything difficult perhaps this is something linked to your past. Uh, I do see a chance for you to heal those wounds there. This also represents acceptance so maybe you are accepting a situation for what it is so in, so that you can move forward. Uh, you may also be asked to forgive yourself or forgive others in order to progress and, and to purge whatever it is that is holding you back. This card does speak of compassion. Perhaps you do um, reach a certain point, point in your life where you feel actually compassionate for other people around you and you were able to see that they acted in a certain way because of something that they were going through and you really having that uh, understanding of that energy and this will help your healing journey this will offer you um, a sense of kindness and softness which you will then be able to vibrate out into the world and maybe help others but this card is also representing relationships it tells me that some of you regard your relationships as very important to you you are a very kind and intuitive person Aquarius uh, you also have a soft side as well but I don't think you let many people see that side of you. Uh, however, I do see you being a, quite a gentle soul, really. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> and I do see you being more empathic and being able to tap into that side of you as you move forward. Your intuition will be getting stronger as well, Aquarius. So perhaps be prepared, really, um, to receive some messages or visions. Now let's get some tarot cards. I can't wait to show you these cards. They are called the Age of Aquarius. I often use them and they are beautiful. Now let's see what's coming up for you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back again. Make sure you hit that little bell button as well so you'll be notified of when I next upload for you. And if you wouldn't mind dropping a little like and a comment on this video, that would be fantastic. Not only would it help this channel to grow, but it will also push this video out further so other Aquarians can hear the messages that they need to hear. And I do enjoy reading your comments. It really does make my day. Please let me know what you're up to, how you've been, any plans for the weekend. Let me know. We'll do one more shuffle and then we will see what we get. This card does have some added special cards in here as well as the traditional tarot ones. But don't worry if any of them pop out then I will tell you exactly what they mean. Oh the first one out we've got the Knight of Swords. That's a good start. 
What are you doing, Aquarius? A lot of drive and determination. I dropped those. We'll put them back and see if they come back again. These cards are quite big, so it's sometimes difficult to uh, shuffle with my very small hands. <laughs> oh, there we go. So those are our, are our cards, Aquarius. Let's take a look here and see what we've got. Oh, right. So what we have here is um, we've got the first card, the Knight of Swords. We've got the Fool, which is Aquarius energy. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Right, okay, so forward movement, 100%. Um, something is going to come up here, Aquarius, which is going to get you moving, get you really determined and wanting to seize the day. The Knight of Swords tells me that this is very fast movement and as it's next to the Fool card, this is you literally running sprinting towards a new opportunity here i see you taking a leap of faith and um really good like getting your teeth into this really really going for it aquarius even though you don't really know the outcome you're going to be jumping and just taking that leap of faith and trusting that all will be well nothing's holding you back here at all um and it's really fast movement. It's like you're very determined to do this, saving the day, finding that inspiration, using your head to guide you as the Knight of Swords is an air element. And um, it's a card that it symbolizes you just rushing towards this, really, really going for this and really just heading towards this full steam ahead. And especially with the Fool card, it's like you don't really care what the consequences are. You're just going for it because you feel like this is something that you need to do. It will just feel right. It will just feel right is what I'm hearing here. It could be a relocation for some of you, a new path. Whatever this is, it's completely new to you. Something different, something that will change everything. Um, it could be a new job. It could be moving. Whatever this is, it's a new journey. It's a new adventure. And it's something that really gets you going. It really excites you and makes you determined to see where this leads. I feel for the majority of you, this is the fresh start that you have been waiting for for a while now. And I do think that there is some risks attached to this fresh start. It isn't going to be plain sailing here. I think there is an element there of risk, um, which is why I've got the Eight of Swords here. I think you may be ending up uh, overthinking about this. There will come a point where you, you rush into this, as I said before, really quickly, but then you will, midway, you will kind of take a step back and, and worry whether you've made the right choice. And I think those um, those negative thoughts or all those that hesitation will set in and you may even find yourself feeling a little overwhelmed by everything because it's happened so fast. I think you may also have some self-doubts whether you are capable of actually doing this um, and I do see you kind of holding back feeling like you can't go through with this and letting your misbeliefs or um, whatever doubts you have in your mind, letting those overcome you and really believe that you are not capable of achieving something here regardless. But the thing is though Aquarius, um, you're going to see something that's the truth you will see clarity i see you having a lot of inspiring uh, thoughts visions memories talks and um, which will help you to get over this initial doubt and feeling like you've made a mistake i think um you will find the truth out about something here and get some clarity from other people uh, and this will help you moving forward you are very intelligent and um, Aquarius as a sign we are very intelligent we are thinkers 
and you will be able to think your way out of this negative energy um, and when you do it's like a light bulb moment it's like a light bulb will switch on and you will just know uh, what your next moves are I think this will give you the opportunity to expand your horizons. This is going to allow you to see past your limitations and any obstacles that might come up for you. You're going to find a way how to dodge past those. And this is when things just start moving very fast. Everything is going to be changing for you at a dramatic speed here. This is incoming, um, a fast movement, taking action. Once you know what you want to be doing, once you have this clarity uh, and this inspiration, and, and once you get over the initial doubt and the worries, that's it. You're just, you're, you're going for this full steam ahead this is coming in so, so quick. I also see some of you communicating with people. There may be some incoming messages here. So expect communication, which will help you. Um, but yes, I, I just see you raring to go here. You're just going for it, Aquarius. Let me know what this is. I, I'm very curious here because whatever it is, you're you're running towards it there's just no stopping you at all no stopping you and you will be ready to reach new heights in your personal and professional and spiritual life here this is you um developing on all of the, those aspects and you know you're a force to be reckoned with i swear you 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 will be able to just achieve your desires at a very very fast pace here and I do think for some of you, you will be talking to others about new opportunities and what is available to you. Let's see what you don't see coming. Oh, we've got temperance. Yes, finding the balance. Anything that is causing any disharmony in your life, Aquarius, I see you finding a way to balance this out. Um, so you're at a more level playing field. I also see you having the ability for long term benefits of giving of, of any giving situation. So you will be able to reap the rewards and have some blessings come your way that will last. I've got the hermit here as well telling me that you will be withdrawing from a situation. You may not see this coming Aquarius that you will have to take some time out go within and do some self-reflection but I do see you shining a light on all those dark areas in your life and gaining some wisdom gaining some knowledge because knowledge is power and um, this is a very key part of this journey for you I believe Oh, we've got the nine of cups wow this is a wish fulfillment Aquarius you will be able to manifest your dreams and actually achieve them. You didn't expect this to happen. This is something that you never thought would be possible, but it is. And it's ready for the taking. It's now ready for you to uh, have this in your life. You deserve this blessing. This is something that you have been wishing for. The universe has heard you and it is wow. <laughs> it's granting your wish. We've got the sun card. Aquarius, this is the happiest card in the deck here. The Sun card tells me you are going to reach a place of joyfulness, um, complete and utter happiness here without a care in the world. Aquarius, this is wonderful. This is a fantastic card to have in this reading. It tells me that everything will work out for you, even if you don't think it will. You won't believe that this could be possible. You won't believe that you will reach this place of complete and utter happiness. But you are going to, Aquarius. We've got the sun card here confirming that it will all work out. Let's see what you will see coming. The page of wands. I'm not surprised we have this card. You're going to be noticing a lot of potential that you didn't even think that you had. Being able to express yourself more freely. This card is linked to having a free spirit, which was your oracles as well. That was in your oracles. But yes, you will be collect connecting more, sorry, to a more deeper, passionate side of you. And you will be excited to start this new journey. 
I also see you having the urge to express yourself in a more creative manner as well. So that that's very much linked with this reading, I think. This is something you're going to be, um, I keep hearing that phrase, you know, getting your teeth sunk into something i'm not sure why i are some of you due a dentist appointment i'm not sure aquarius but i keep hearing that uh, but yes it's something you will be definitely going after um and possibly linked to your creative side now i've not done these cards for a while i know some of you aren't into celebrities or anything like that then you can of course skip this part and find the charms at the end but if this singer resonates for you in any way if you just enjoy them if you are a fan of those um or it's just the messages you need to hear then these this will validate that reading even further oh there we go me personally i love music and i love tarot and i do like to combine them we've got lady gaga in the house okay aquarius let's see what we have lady gaga what does she say turn bad romance into good business exaggerate your contradictions and become the star you were born to be and of course aquarius we are the star card aren't we very good messages there now we have maria callas i believe that's how you pronounce her name sorry if i got it wrong she says compromise is the enemy of perfection befriend your inner serpent and you cannot survive on sensation alone that's very true over here we have grace jones learn to be your own sugar daddy harness the power of an unexploded bomb always waiting always ticking and to ensure survival prey must become hunter mm, very interesting now over here we have a mystery who is it ah we've got a boy we have frank sinatra everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy fly yourself to the moon of your choice and you only get one shot at life so aim high how true is that i love frank sinatra okay aquarius i've loved this i've loved your reading i'm going to be doing your charms now oh we've got a few for you aquarius what's this one? Oh, a beautiful swan so this swan represents dreams love grace union and partnership it's a beautiful beautiful charm i do think you will be connecting with your dreams and having your dreams come true beautiful this one we have oh it's it's a little teddy bear this represents bravery peace powerful and motherhood so it can represent a bond that you share with a child or if you have any sentimental values with a teddy bear or just like teddy bears, then it also validates that reading even further for you. Now, this one is an elephant. I love elephants and the elephant represents power, travel, promotion, happiness, stability in love and friendships. Wow, a beautiful animal, a beautiful charm. I definitely see traveling for some of you, as I said before, new beginnings, and some of you will be getting a promotion at work. Your reading was all about uh, growth, really. So I definitely see a promotion and new beginnings. And this key here, this key represents unlocking the door to health, power, knowledge and life. A very important key. Don't lose it. I'm always losing my key. <laughs> So Aquarius, I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and I hope it's helped some of you out there. Um, I'm really excited for you. Brilliant energy and, and, you know, congratulations. You deserve this new start, whatever it is. It will mean different things for all of you. But yes, uh, please come back again. If you do want a personal reading with me, just hit me up. I'd love to read for you, Aquarius. Until next time, take care, stay safe and be happy. Love and light to all of you.